Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Delta 7 Ahsoka Tano paint job for the uh, from Star Wars Celebration, Star Wars X-Wing. This is the limited edition Delta 7 Ether Sprite. Aether Sprite? Aether Sprite? Uh, for, uh, for, for the Ahsoka Tano painted version. Uh, this one is a little different. This is not the first ever custom painted uh, Delta 7 because they have done also a, a, a Plo Koon one uh, years ago. But uh, this one is going to be actually kind of similar. Um, so we're going to also compare this to the basic uh, Delta 7 and Anakin's and kind of just see where they diverge a little bit. But uh, it's very cool. We do have that, that current... Uh, that paint job on there with the little star pattern, and then uh, this is Ahsoka's kind of custom one. So, very cool stuff. This one was uh, exclusive. Well, it does just say 2022 convention exclusive. We're going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, this one is also spoken for, by the way. Um, so, I did uh, manage, I did have a uh, patron request to, to pick one of these up. Was only able to get one. Um, so, this one is going to be going to Marcus. Uh, however... Uh, I'm going to try to not completely wreck the box uh, because that's something that I usually do in my unboxings. Is I completely like, just rip them open and just uh, like like completely irreverent and uh, and I just completely you know hornswoggle the entire box. So now I have to find find a way to open this without completely hornswoggling the whole box so that I may actually be able to deliver it to whom it shall go to. So that's that is the uh, the path <laughs> today. Um, is, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this out. We're gonna take a look at it. We'll we'll do some comparisons. And uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, we are still giving away the Shadow Collective Core Box uh, in the form of a seventy dollar Amazon gift card. Uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Also, big thanks to Luxury Playstyle. Be sure to check out luxuryplaystyle.com for amazing. Full Metal Tokens, thank you to our sponsoring today's video. Um, they are, they have been a long, a long time sponsor of the channel. You see me talk about their tokens. You're gonna save 15% if you use code Crabock VIP. Uh, amazing Full Metal Tokens, you're going to absolutely love them. So definitely check those out. And uh, with all that being said, uh, let me try and get this box open as neatly as possible. Another thing that I just never noticed before is that the base actually says LFL AMG which is pretty cool. I just, I hadn't been looking at any of the more recent stuff, so I thought that that's just worth noting. All right, so we've got uh, Ahsoka out of the box now. I did a pretty good job. I just kind of went in there. I managed to not completely destroy the box. So I'm very pleased with maybe my most elegant unboxing yet, although I did it off camera because I wanted to be really, I want to keep the pressure off, you know, because sometimes I have exacto knife anxiety. <laughs> but, uh, but here we go, we've got uh, Ahsoka, out of the box here, really nice paint job. We've got the astromech uh, with the painting. We've got the decal here on the on the back, which is really nice. We uh, we have uh, got the engine glow. We have a little bit of a little bit of like dust. We, we, we got a there we go. We got a little bit of like dirt on the uh, around the engine there, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if they intended that. A little bit of red ink seems to have crept in on the back right up in here it looks like a little bit of red ink um but it's okay because you can have a little bit of blast kind of residue around where the engines are since they're right there um if we want to look at the underside we'll see you also have that kind of uh that i don't know that that, that almost it's, it's almost like the sabine or the rebellion kind of symbol right that that kind of starboard kind of wingspan kind of coming up with the white, um, which is pretty cool. Let me actually take this out and this way we can do that a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know why I'm leaving the peg in there while I'm trying to look at the bottom. I should know better than that. We also have a little Republic decal on there. I'm not sure if they use decals or not. I think they would have to. I don't think there's any way that you can you can get that that painted on there with that kind of precision uh, outside of decals. So very cool, very nice looking, and for Ahsoka fans, this is going to be uh, a really cool one to take a look at and to, to, to get if you could. Now, I want to talk about the uh, the difficulty in getting this a little bit. I know some people are not uh, big, big fans of of uh, you know of limited edition exclusives, and uh, you know, and, and certainly when they're here's the, the basic one, by the way. 
Um, because this was so hard to get, um, you know, if you were, uh, I, I struggled, I, I tried to get one the first day, couldn't get one. I ended up having to go to the convention about four hours early. Um, I waited in line for about three and a half hours of it um, to get there uh, early enough and managed to get one of the last ones on day two, um, which I think they said there were only 50 left uh, when I when I got in line and I was maybe 10th in line. So maybe there were like 40 after me out of the 150 a day. Um, so so basically what happens is that at, at Star Wars Celebration, you know, if you've got a Jedi Master Badge, you get to go in like a half an hour before everybody else. And there is a lot of people that get those. I don't know how many they have per convention but that gets like that's an all-access badge and it gets you uh, some VIP access well the problem is uh, that like on the on the first day the Jedi master badges bought up almost all of them and uh, and I think there were only like maybe 10 or, or 15 left because because I was I was there I was there with my sister too and we were both in line trying to get these uh, and we got waited for an hour before the doors open and that still wasn't enough to go straight there and get one so that's why I did like four hours the next day um, but, but I know a lot of people, I'm going to pull out some of the cardboard too and show you this while I'm talking, uh, cause this is, it's basically, it's the same cardboard from the Anakin Skywalker expansion. Um, so it's, it's basically, it's basically just the Anakin Skywalker, um, uh, you know, standalone Delta seven, uh, expansion. This is the same one that you would have gotten this, this one in originally. Um, so, and, and this is kind of a, maybe a disappointment because I know at least, I think with the Plo Koon one, you had a special cardboard, you had a special insert or a special painted cardboard to kind of signify that. Um, but no, this one is not. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think this is, well, you do have, the, the, the insert here does say that it's a limited edition Aether Sprite. So you still have all of that. Uh, you have the updated insert here with Atomic Mass Games on there as well. So... There you go. Um, now, you have, uh, you also have some cards. Now, these are gonna be the same cards that we got in the Anakin Skywalker one. We've got Anakin, we've got Luminara, Barris, we've got Ahsoka Tano, the Jedi Knight, we've got Battle Meditation, Brilliant Evasion, Calibrated Laser Targeting, R3 Astromech, and R4P Astromech. Um, but I was able to get one of these on the second day, and a lot of people don't like this. I believe this is something that they kind of have to do for the convention to, uh, to basically have, uh, you know, early, you know, Jedi Master kind of exclusives. Um, it's, I, I don't, I, I, I would wager to say that I don't think that um, Asmodee has uh, as much autonomy over the, the processes of all of this stuff. Because I asked, like, well, if somebody, if a Jedi Master got one, like, on day one, can they come back and get another one on day two? Like, are you locking people out of getting a second one based on their badge? And, and they said they weren't. And I don't... Uh, I don't think that they're really allowed to tell the Jedi Master folks that they can't get another one, right? And they didn't say this to me, so this is just this is just guesswork on my part. But I know that there's certain things that you you kind of have to do for for a convention, for Star, for Lucasfilm and for Star Wars Celebration, and, and I believe part of that is providing some value added for the Jedi Master incentives um, to kind of keep that you know to keep the VIPs um, you know getting their some of their exclusives and things like that. Now, fortunately, on day two, the Jedi Master uh, early VIP folks did not buy as many because there were a little bit more available on day two. Uh, and so hopefully, if you were there and were trying to get one of these, you you managed to get it. If you did not get one, uh, be pleased to know that all the cardboard uh, and, and all of the cards are the same as the, the, uh, the Anakin Skywalker one. So literally, the only difference is like the little fluff they put on the box and this right here, and then the actual paint job itself, which is very nice. But so many people already repaint their X-Wing stuff anyway that I feel like this is, um, this is less of a heartbreaking moment if you couldn't get it, uh, and it's more of a, just a really sweet bonus if you actually could get it. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the limited edition Delta 7 Aether Sprite. Uh, I, I know there's mixed feelings on these, and I, again, it's, I'm not advocating, you know, super limited edition exclusives, but hopefully uh, there will, there'll be more uh, limited edition or uh, alternate paint job things in the future. Uh, I certainly think that AMG has kind of shown that they can do stuff like this with the Marvel Crisis Protocol alternate Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus that they did for our MCP, which is basically like a, a, a deluxe kind of edition of existing uh, miniatures. And I feel like 
they could easily do more stuff like that in the future. And I'm really curious what you guys would think. Would you guys be interested in buying stuff that maybe you already have, but if it's like a deluxe version, like a, like maybe if you had foil cards and a new paint job with it, is that something that some of you guys might be interested in? Or uh, if it's not pre-painted minis, if it's something like MCP or Legion, how do you feel about buying alternate sculpts and alternate art versions in uh, like deluxe packaging? I'm curious, you know, how many of you uh, are interested in stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments. Also join the Discord. We have links down in uh, the video description where you can check out crabock.com or you can jump in our Discord or follow me on social media, all of that great stuff. And huge thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this all possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. So say we all. Be excellent to each other and party on.